Well, hello, my beautiful Aquarians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career or money reading for the end of March, right through the end of April, 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I'll never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <laughs> beautiful Aquarians, this is your career and money reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. And of course, you'll notice that I'm in a different environment than usual. I've gone to see various family members that I haven't seen for years and years and years. So I took a little bit of time out there uh, on the road. So I'll be back in my usual space in the next uh, coming week and a half or so. So uh, please bear with me with sound and all of the things because I'm just in a different environment briefly. And also the readings are a little bit delayed, but I will get those monthlies out to you as well. So fear not, it will all be in the right timing. So let's get straight to your reading. Uh, your first card there, of course, is the star energy. So this is really about putting your own needs first in your career and really standing out in the career sector that you're in right now. Even if you're currently looking for a job, whether you're in a role right now and just putting your resume out there, or whether you are currently sourcing a role and you haven't found anything in the job market, the next six weeks will see you being above the competition and really be seen for new roles, new opportunities. But also I feel that generally you're going to be more inspired over the next coming weeks. I see that you're going to investigate new ideas and uh, I feel like you are moving towards your goals and I feel like you're prioritizing what's important to you at this time. You're putting your own needs first as it were. Now your second house of value is influencing you at this moment so that's not a surprise. This is really about how you value yourself, looking at situations where you give your power away, undersell your talents, or even notice when some people underestimate you or undervalue what you have to offer. Some of you may have felt like you've not been appreciated in your current working circumstances, but I definitely see that that is all about to change for you. Now also, this indicates you're going to be focusing on your cash, your property, budget, savings plans, mortgages, pensions, real estate, all those sort of things that we all have to focus on when it comes to doing life. Um, but also it's really about leveling up, you know, being a go-getter, achieving whatever it is that you set out to do and, you know, basically getting the rewards that you deserve because you put so much effort into everything. Also, your ninth house takes over from that, and that's really about the great quest for meaning and value in everything you do. So you're gonna be looking at your purpose. You're going to be looking at life's purpose, not just your career. So you may be trying to work smarter, not harder. And some of you, you know, you're reestablishing your connection with your higher self. You may feel compelled to, uh, you know, move into some sort of higher learning at this stage, whether it's you wanting to hone your skills you have right now, upskill in some way, or even even use transferable skills into other areas of your career. Some of you may even be thinking about moving into a different sector and basically learning something new to get a qualification or a skill. These are all influences from those two houses during this time. But looking at your career, I see there are some positive changes going on, but some of you may be worried because you're looking at how things are changing in the world at large and what it means for your industry, what it means for your business or the role that you play in your uh, current working circumstances. But I definitely see something new being offered to you. Uh, we've got the Ten of Cups, we've got the Death card here, we've got the Empress, uh, we've also got the Knight of Cups. Now, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It's all about the energy, okay? So I definitely see that you're looking at whether your heart is invested in something. You know, if you're enjoying what you're 
doing right now. I feel like you're really like investigating current circumstances and whether you're on the right path. And you also have a Seven of Swords there at the end. So I am going to pull a major card on that to see what's going on there with you. Because uh, for some of you, you may feel like there's underhanded dealings in your industry, like nepotism, or you know, you may feel like there's no room to maneuver in your career. Also, some of you may not trust something that's going on behind the scenes in your current working environment, and you're trying to work things out. I feel something that perhaps has been a little bit underhanded, whether you're an entrepreneur and you have people working for you or whether you are uh, working in a company, there may be something underhanded revealed in the next six weeks. Now, I don't like to uh, do readings where there's like drama, like dun, dun, dun moments. Um, I'm here to give you the energy, but I feel something that perhaps intuitively you were aware of or you didn't trust, suddenly it comes to light and you will be proven right on that situation. I feel like you're leading with integrity. Um, I feel like overall, this doesn't actually affect you personally, but it may be something that you are aware of and you may see like an exit of a person who has uh, not been pulling their weight or someone who has um, been deceiving people in a situation, someone who's been toxic perhaps. So I feel like there is some sort of industry change going on in your career sector and you'll see someone ousted for, um, you know, not um, being in a high vibe, let's put it that way. Uh, for some of you, if you're in a business partnership, it could be that you get proof on something that perhaps has been worrying you for a while, and you may see that there was an error there, but you may see that someone noticed the error and tried to cover it up. Okay, and you may find that out. It's not that they, you know, did it on purpose, but I feel that they may have covered it up because they felt responsible in some way, but I feel you will resolve it, whatever this is, okay? Again, it may take that person leaving or some sort of really um, strict conversation I, I feel that coming through as well. But ultimately, let's get to your cards, the overarching energy. And this is a star energy, which means that you are going to be a little bit more inspired, have a little bit more energy over the next six weeks, because some of you may have felt really tested in your working circumstances. You may have felt low energy. Also, you may be noticing where there are toxic practices in your career sector or in your everyday working circumstances. Now, we've got the devil card. It's in the resistance position. So it tends to tell me that you're releasing yourself or liberating yourself from a very difficult experience or an area where you feel stuck in your career. It doesn't always have to be connected to toxicity. It can mean that you've been feeling that you plateaued in some area of your career and now you're being inspired to branch out or move into a different sector. You're definitely wishing for something for some of you with that empress energy again it's not gender specific uh, the empress energy when you apply it to a career reading it indicates promotion so some of you are hoping for a promotion or you're hoping to be noticed for all the effort that you put into your working circumstances right now because you've been working hard you know I definitely see the next six weeks you're going to be so productive you're going to be prioritizing I definitely see that you're going to be super goal oriented and you're going to feel really proud of all the effort that you made, because I do feel there is something being offered to you in the next six weeks. Now, this could be praise. It could be as simple as praise, but you know, I'm gonna pull some cards because right now, looking at your chart, there's no pentacles here. Now, I can only read the cards that come out, but also I can read the energy that comes out as well. So some of you, you know, of course, money is important. We all need it to pay bills. And if there's a promotion available, it will come with an increase of finances. But looking at your chart, it feels more that you're trying to make sure that your heart is still in the right place in your career. You may have felt that you've been stuck in some area of your career, whether it's something you've been wrestling with, very cerebral energy, trying to find a solution to something in your career sector, or whether you have been dealing with a toxic environment or a toxic person, I feel like you're being very diplomatic and finding a way to resolve that issue and at the same time, put yourself in a really strong position. Some of you may be feeling that there are some changes in the working environment even if you're an entrepreneur you may be noticing um, you know policies changing or you know perhaps documentation that's needed to run your company there may be extra like um, uh, paperwork certifications that you are required to have and it may feel a little bit frustrating and if you're working for a company for example 
with the Devil card there and the Wheel of Fortune, it can indicate that there are some changes afoot. There could be some merges going on there with your company and another company. And the other company, you know, I feel some of you are looking to see if your belief system or your values match that company that uh, your current company is merging with. And some of you may decide um, that you don't trust it. Okay, I'm just getting this energy of not trusting something. I would say uh, that yes, there are some things going on behind the scenes. I see that you're in a really good position to navigate these changes. I do see that you are someone who is highly respected in your position. Whether you're told that or not, I feel like you're someone who shines above the rest. You go above and beyond and you're very talented. You know, when you get the Magician card and the Empress card in a career reading, it means you're someone who is full of ideas, you do things in very unique ways, and you're actually acutely talented, more talented than other people around you. So I feel, you know, you shining your wonderful light and being seen, recognized for some sort of change in your circumstances. Now, this could be promotion because this is your protagonist energy. You're hoping to, uh, you know, whatever it is you're wishing for, you're hoping to take your career to the next level. But with the Empress energy in this position, it can indicate that you're aligning yourself with a brighter future in your industry. You know, there either is some sort of job opportunity being offered to you. Now, this could be a new role because I feel that I, I, you know, I really want to pinpoint this energy because I feel like you're hoping it to be a promotion, but it feels like a new role. Okay. Whether that's a new role in your current circumstances, you remain within the company and you move into a different sector. It's something in alignment with your goals and dreams, something more that you've been hoping to do. So it almost feels like a stepping stone that you're at like a critical point in your career where you're leveling up to the next stage, but you may feel like you're not in the position that you want to be in long term, if that makes sense. So for example, if you want to be a CEO of the company, it could be that you're like being offered a role just below CEO. So there's another stage to go to, but still you're leveling up. So I feel like you're on a really positive trajectory in your career, but I feel like your goal sees further than that and you will reach that goal as well, but I feel like you're on the up there. Now also the Empress energy, it tells me that you're birthing lots of new ideas, now, for some of you, and not all of you, will connect to this energy. I have to honor all the energy that I'm given in a reading. Some of you are trying to balance, you know, looking after children and, you know, maintaining your career and leveling up there as well. And it's difficult. And some of you may feel a little bit stuck or you may feel really frustrated. And uh, I feel things are going to get easier for you there. Uh, I definitely see some of you may negotiate different um, timescales or schedules for you to work. So it could be that you're you're going to work like four days a week instead of five, or maybe you're going to uh, do like the morning shift or the afternoon shift. I feel like there's some sort of negotiation of, um, you know, shifts going on. So uh, that may not resonate with everyone, but I see it happening um, for some of you. So I have to mention it there. But the overarching energy indicates that you are very gifted, you're very talented, and actually you're very established at what you do. You know, so you've come a long way. You have a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience in the role that you're in, but naturally you're also gifted. So I feel like you're looking at your sense of value at what you put into your career and what you're getting out of it. And if you feel right now that, um, you know, you've hit a plateau, a glass ceiling as it were, and there's no room for maneuver in the company that you're currently in, then I definitely see you putting your resume out there to see if there's alternative opportunities. And some of you may not enjoy the way that the company that you currently work for is run at this moment in time. So you may be actually putting the feelers out there to see if there's alternative opportunities. Now also, and I have to mention it because it's coming through there, some of you you know, I get an energy here of you looking at um, the amount of experience you have in a role and feeling a little bit worried that there are some changes going on there. You may notice that companies are downsizing or making redundancies across the board. And, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, this is going to happen more in 2024 and 2025. And that's in every industry, okay? You can see it happening. You don't need me to tell you that it's happening. I'm here to let you know that the energy that's coming through, there is more to come. Come. But I actually see that you are someone who is an asset to any team. And even if you are moving away 
from a different sector, whether it's by choice or not, I see that the universe is lining up a new role for you because destiny is intervening to bring you an opportunity that you're going to love, okay? But I get the energy here that you're in control of any changes that are going on within your career path right now. I feel like you're in a really good position to navigate any changes and you're remaining flexible, okay? Um, now that Empress energy, it tells me that, you know, this is a time where you're going to see a lot of the hard work that you have been investing in your career and nourishing your path is going to pay off because I feel like there is something offered to you in the month of April in particular, okay? Now this could be good news, but I also see it could be an opportunity to elevate. I actually see that, I mean, we're coming to the end of March, but I feel it's actually on the cusp. So it could be the very beginning of April or the end of March is what I'm seeing there. But there's something offered to you. Knight of Cups energy indicates, you know, an opportunity to follow your heart or follow your bliss. And I feel it's an opportunity that you will grab with both hands there, okay? Now also we have the 10 of Cups, which tends to tell me that actually you kind of enjoy what you do. With the Devil card in the resistance position, it can indicate that you just may not particularly enjoy the environment or you may not enjoy some of the people that you work with. But the Ten of Cups indicates, you know, you're working really hard, not just for yourself, but also for your family or, you know, for the lifestyle that you have decided that you want to live. I really get with the Ten of Cups here that you are actually going to achieve whatever it is you set out to do. Um, but, you know, Ten of Cups, when you apply it to a career, reading, it tends to mean that, you know, you're thinking more about your worth and your value than you're thinking about, um, you know, the financial aspect of your career. I feel they go hand in hand, to be honest, but at the same time, I feel like you're looking at respect in the working environment. You know, you're utilizing your skill set, making sure that you make an impact and that you are in alignment with your true goals and dreams. I feel like you're not selling yourself short because you know what you have to offer. These two cards indicate that you give your all, you give your 100%, and you know, it's only fair that you get reciprocity in the working environment. But of course, we all know it doesn't work out like that um, all the time. But with that Ten of Cups and the Empress energy, I feel right now, you know, you're hoping for more, but I feel like there's an energy here of you looking at where you're lucky right now but you may be looking at alternative opportunities. For those of you beautiful Aquarians who've come to this reading and you've currently been either made redundant or you lost your job or was fired from a position or you actually walked away from something because you saw how toxic it was or that things were just stagnant, I see an opportunity coming in. And if you've been currently like looking for work, either through an agency or whether you've just been like going through the usual lines of inquiry to find an opportunity, things may feel very uncertain in the job market right now. And of course they are, but I see the universe stepping in to bestow an incredible opportunity on you. And I feel like it gives you more control, more focus, more inspiration. I feel like you're going to be super organized and you're the right person for the job, okay? So I definitely see that happening there for you. And some of you, especially since you've got the Empress energy and the Ten of Cups with the Seven of Swords, because the history of the Seven of Swords is actually to be very independent to march to the beat of your own drum and do things differently that other people perhaps do not do or cannot see a way of achieving. You're the sort of person who can do that. Uh, so I feel some of you may be deciding to become a consultant or set up your own practice or even like set up second streams of income where uh, you may do something on the side that's connected to your career sector or you're actually thinking about launching a whole business by yourself to set up that practice and be your own boss. Because I get this energy that you're super talented and you are established. So you've come as far as you can. Now, some of you may even be launching like, um, how-to videos online or courses online of what you do. And, you know, I have to say here, because we do have that Empress energy, some of you beautiful Aquarians are thinking about retirement. You know, you're looking at pension plans, savings, and things like that. But also you may be thinking about when is the right time to retire, okay? And I see that some of you may actually dip your toe into retirement, but at the same time, you're so talented that you could actually become a consultant and work your own hours, like, and, you know, dip in occasionally to the working environment, but get the best of both worlds. I mean, of course, if you're deciding that things have come to an end, you want to retire, I definitely see your wish 
being fulfilled, of retiring and enjoying, um, you know, the hard earned uh, money that you have there. Even though there is a very uncertain changing uh, market, I would say with the Seven of Swords there, because it can connect to like not trusting financial institutions, things like that. Some of you are keeping an eye on what you have already, making sure that the financial institution that you are invested in is not connected to pensions as well, or, you know, long-term sort of like, you know, uh, 401ks, whatever you want to call it, because, you know, all that money is accumulated into one pot. And if it's over a certain amount and there's ever any fluctuation in the current um, economic environment, that means, you know, all of it is connected and you'll only be covered for a certain amount in terms of insurance. Okay. So that's coming out there. I feel like, you know, you're already very savvy, very knowledgeable. You're probably already on that, but it is coming through and it's coming through for everybody for you know, probably the last eight to nine months of the readings that I've been doing, I keep being given messages from my guides about it to keep your eye on things, you know, downloading statements and things like that, just to make sure that, you know, you are covered and you have documented proof of what you have in terms of your assets. Now, I am going to give you an energy and I don't really like it, but I think it's really important to mention it. Um, you know, I feel it's really important to keep an eye on any um, personal belongings in the working environment right now, because you have a devil card and you also have a seven of swords. So this can indicate that there is a high potential within your environment that there could be someone who is like coming in for the day or just a meeting that may be an opportunist you know, who may either, um, you know, swipe a wallet or a phone or something like that. So just be a little bit mindful of that. I mean, that should never happen anywhere, let alone the working environment, but it is coming out there. So I must mention it. Also, you know, any new ideas, because the star energy is all about being full of ideas that you are going to bring to term, you know, that sets you apart from everybody else, because I see you here being very successful. You know, keep it to yourself. You know, don't trust everybody with your ideas, because I do see there's someone here who sees that you are a bit of a threat in the working environment, and they would have no problems in taking those ideas that you have and pretending that they had the ideas, taking credit for your hard work. So just watch out for that there as well. But we do have the devil card and it's in the resistance position, which is actually a really positive energy. It means you're becoming unstuck or you're liberating yourself out of a situation. For some of you, you know, you may have felt like you're in a cycle of repeat in your current working circumstances and you're just trying to maintain a level of work, but you want more inspiration. You want more fun, more excitement in the everyday. So I feel like you may be looking at the tasks and responsibilities that you have and trying to you know, breathe a fresh new approach to them so that you can, you know, really continue to enjoy what you do. Also, some of you may have some deadlines in the next six weeks that you feel a little bit worried about hitting those targets. Don't worry, you're going to hit those targets. I feel a pathway is being made clear for you. You're going to work really hard. I definitely see that you're going to be doing that, but you may feel a little bit more pressure or on the clock when it comes to the month of April in particular. Maybe it means that, you know, you're coming to the year end of, uh, you know, your accounts, or perhaps you feel like you need to tie up loose ends before, um, you know, moving on to other goals or opportunities. I just feel a little bit of pressure happening as we move into April for you, but I feel like you're completely on it, okay? Now we do have the Ten of Wands. It's in the resistance position. So again, this indicates some of you have felt really burnt out. You know, you may have felt really drained in your working environment. For some of you, you're leaving a toxic work environment because of that. But ultimately, I feel like some of you are thinking about taking things to the next stage or you're leaving some aspect of your career behind. So it could be that you're either moving into a new sector or, you know, you are now finding a way to outsource what you have to do, delegate, if you will, so that you focus or prioritize on things that you really enjoy about your working environment and outsource or delegate things that perhaps weigh you down or you just don't have time to do. Um, with the 10 of wands, 
it's, as I said, in the resistance position. So it tells me that some of you may be worried about something. I feel like the pressure has been on, but I feel there is a release of pressure as you move through the rest of April towards the end. It just feels like a breath of fresh air, like, oh, relief that either a task or a project or something is over. And, um, I feel like you're moving into a new stage or new sector. If anyone has been causing any problems in the working environment, you may hear that they tender their notice and leave or that they are encouraged to leave, given the nudge, okay? Uh, I see that happening there as well. Um, also, we've got the death card. It's in the resistance position. Anything that's in the resistance position, it will turn into the upright by the end of uh, the six weeks. So this can indicate that some of you have been feeling a little bit stuck, but there are some changes that you are in control of that will make things easier, okay? I definitely see a new beginning happening here for you. Um, and this new beginning, it's either that you're gonna be seconded to a different branch or you're moving into a different sector, maybe given a new title title or some of you if you're putting your resume out there maybe that you're getting a new opportunity if you're an entrepreneur because the empress energy with the star and the ten of cups it can indicate that you really love what you do that you're in control of your every day but you're a bit of a workaholic with that devil card there and you tend to overload yourself, even though you really enjoy what you're doing and you know you are uh, spending so much time uh, doing what you love. Also, there needs to be a healthy cutoff point so that you can recharge your batteries and quieten your mind. Because sometimes, especially when you're an entrepreneur, you know it's not just gonna be nine to five, it's normally 24 seven because you care so much, but also if you don't work, then the money doesn't come in or you may feel that business doesn't run over as smoothly if you're not there. So I feel some of you are looking at that and you may be looking at arenas where you can outsource some of the tasks or responsibilities that you have if you're an entrepreneur. For example, you may enlist the help of an accountant or an advisor in some way in order to help you expand your business or help you prioritize what's important for you and they can do like the admin stuff or you know they can do the other stuff that perhaps you don't have time for because you've been so busy with other things. But the death card is actually a really positive energy because it means fresh new opportunities coming in and some of you, you know, um, on a personal level, you may be looking at where you um, maybe are distracted or where people try to waste your time. And I feel like you're being a little bit more focused this month. You're not procrastinating. You're not allowing anyone to distract you because I feel like you have a major focus. And for some of you, it's, you know, duality. Some of you may be setting up second streams of income or trying to think of new ideas in order to do that. But with the moon card, this is a card of self-reflection, okay? But it's also reflecting on your goal or your dream. It's um, basically you focusing on the vision that you have for your future. And we can't always tell what is going to happen in the future. So you may feel a little bit uncertain or cautious about some of the changes in the job market. But with the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel this is an indication that things always fluctuate. You know, uh, things are easy come, easy go. Uh, all things change, seasons change, we change, and you know, opportunities change. But we must remain flexible during these times. Because of your strong position in your protagonist, uh, line, let's put it that way. I feel like you're in a really good position right now to weather any of these changes and really stand out from the crowd. Um, but the moon card indicates a hidden opportunity. You know, something that you were not expecting, something that's currently being orchestrated behind the scenes for you. I feel this is like an opportunity to elevate. I feel actually you'll have a choice, but with the Wheel of Fortune here, it's a lucky break. Okay, I feel like there's some good luck coming in your career sector, but I also see an opportunity being offered to you. Whether you take it or not, that's your decision, but I actually see that you take it. Okay, that's the main energy I've got here. Be a little bit mindful about this new role because I feel like you moving into this sector, it's something that you love doing, but there may be someone that you have to work with who may try to take advantage of the fact that you really love what you do. And they may try to delegate extra work on you as well and try and coast so that they do less work and you do more. So just watch out for that because I feel that's coming through as well. Now with the moon card and um, the wheel of fortune, some of you, if you haven't already, 
Some of you are thinking about second streams of income because you can see an ever-changing market. Some of you may be thinking about online businesses, especially since we have the Seven of Swords there, Page of Cups and the Magician, something that you can be in control of. You may be inspired to launch something new or you're just really trying to investigate things right now. But ultimately, whatever it is, I feel like it's going to be uh, very exciting, very lucrative. Now, in terms of your personal uh, finances, I feel there is like a fluctuation. You know, what I see here is that you're going to start strong for the month um, with your finances. I feel like, of course, bills, you know, the usual is going to come out there. Uh, but I also feel with the Seven of Swords that there may be some sort of bill or something that you purchase that needs to be questioned. Okay, so it could be that a bill comes in and it's a little bit higher than you're expecting, but I feel like you will like highlight that there was an error because I feel like there's an error here. Um, it could also be that you were expecting the bill, but it was more than you expected, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm just going to pull a card on that Seven of Swords for you, okay? Um, the Seven of Swords can also indicate that some of you, you know, are uh, paying back a loan at the end of the month or you're going to have enough money to uh, give a little bit extra. Make sure when you make that payment that the other side has received it, okay, because there may be some sort of glitch in the system where uh, it doesn't go in straight away. Uh, King of Cups, the Lover's Card, and the Ten of Swords. Now, for some of you... You're definitely leaving a position that you kind of enjoy, but you just feel like you've either hit a plateau and you're uh, just basically realizing that you deserve more in those circumstances. Uh, there is a new role on offer that gives more status. Okay, uh, I feel like um, you are putting a lot of effort into what you do. But I feel some of you with the lover's card, I feel like there's a new partnership available or you're looking at your options regarding a new contract uh, because the lover's card, you know, it can be connected to romance, of course, but it literally is the choice card. It means you have options uh, to look at right now. And the Ten of Swords there, again, it indicates something has come to an end. But I also feel someone that has been causing problems in the working environment may leave. But I, I get an energy here that you may also hear of someone that actually you really respect in the working environment. Even if you're an entrepreneur, it could be someone in the industry. You know, I feel like there's a potential here for that person to reach out and try and collaborate with you in some way. And it, this person may influence the way that you work or the way that you operate. And there's a real, like, interesting partnership available here for you. I feel this person may introduce you to someone who is very influential. This person themselves is very influential in your career. And I feel like there could be some sort of either side hustle with this person or a partnership long term that you uh, think about investigating further. I also see that some of you that are in a partnership if you feel that the person is not pulling their weight, you may decide to contractually end this business working partnership there, okay? Because there is some sort of change there, but I see that you're in a really good position to go solo. So I see this energy of you working both as a team member, but also as an entrepreneur. And with the moon card there, you know, there's normally a dog and a wolf on the moon card, and the dog represents stability, long-term contracts, and the wolf, of course, is independent, um, someone who's a maverick. So some of you may be investigating both these lines of inquiry right now, or you're currently doing it. Make sure you don't spread yourself too thin. Uh, now we do have that Knight of Cups. So something that you're going to really love is being offered to you as we move into April. I feel it's into the April. Well, I feel it could be the end of March into April, but I feel it's right up until that second week of April that this opportunity comes in. Okay. Um, I feel like Love for what you do is more important. Um, I also feel, although you get that uh, Knight of Cups, I feel like if you're being offered a new role, please investigate what that role is normally priced at, if you know what I mean. So for example, if you're going for the role of CEO in a company, look about in the industry and see what you know the average is and make sure that you're not accepting less than you truly deserve because I feel with that seven of swords there is like an opportunity especially since you're so established you know um 
and especially if you're going for like a new role in a different company, they may try to say that you're overqualified and that basically is them indicating that they really love what you do and they really want to hire you, but they don't have the budget to offer you or they're trying to downgrade the wages. Okay, so just watch out for that. Um, stick to the fact that you uh, are really good at what you do, you're very talented, own your skill set and know that you deserve more. So I do feel there is an opportunity to negotiate a better deal here for you. Um, now that Seven of Swords, this is really a quest for independence. So some of you may actually feel micromanaged in your working environment. A really good way if you're micromanaged in a current working circumstances is if a person keeps trying to like, you know, control what you do or, because I'm getting a sense here that some of you may be asked to write down the tasks that you do day to day, which sounds really weird, but that's the energy that I've got coming through. Um, you know, a really good way to like nudge a micromanager into their own little corner and they sort of back off a little bit is basically whenever they ask you to do something, make sure that you get it written in an email and then maybe when you reply to that person, copy someone else in, okay? Because it just highlights that they're either singling you out, but at the same time, if they keep having to write something down and document something themselves, they're just gonna find that actually they don't have time to do it, you know? Micromanagers tend to come over and verbalize, you know, in passing what they want you to do and they feel in control. But once you say, you know what, that's really great. If you could like fire that over in an email as well, just so that I can, uh, you know, get it done correctly the way you want it, uh, that'd be perfect. And diplomatically that says, you know what, back off, write it down, send it over. And if you've got time to do that, it means that you don't really do anything you're just trying to create extra work and misery for everybody else so just watch out for that because I feel that coming through there as well okay now we do have the magician card and this is really about your focus you're going to be super organized uh, very goal oriented but also it indicates that you're manifesting something in the working environment whether it's more independence whether it is more financial freedom or whether it is more control at work, I definitely see that you are going to be, um, you know, in control and utilizing your skill set. So if you feel that you've hit that plateau, there's something coming in that allows you to level up or to really utilize that skill set that you have and feel more appreciated in the working environment. You actually have more power in the role that you have right now than you realize. And even if you're looking for new work or new opportunities, you're actually in a better position than you give yourself credit for. I feel believe and receive is really important for you right now. But let me just pull a quick card and see if I can see anything regarding finances because, you know, I do see that there's more abundance. You are attracting more abundance the more you believe in your skill set. But I feel it's not, um, you know, something that perhaps you are acutely focused on right now. With that Nine of Cups, it's like, what do you wish for? What is it you're aiming for? Because I feel like you're on a trajectory to earn that or to achieve that. Um, I mean, Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, you know, getting what you desire. And the manifestation card with the magician card is really like focus on what it is that you want. If you want to be that CEO, if you want to be your own boss, if you want to get to a certain position of your career, visualization is really going to help you. But also you're doing the work. You invest all of your hard work and time into this and you're actually in a position where you're the best at what you do and you are head and shoulders above any competition, okay? That's what I see there. Of course, there's a little bit of worry. Some of you may feel that you should be a little bit further along in your career path than you are right now, but actually I see that things are lining up for you to move ahead quite nicely as well there. So, uh, I'm, I'm not feeling that you're playing catch up. I feel like you're in the right position at the right time because you may have had to learn some new things in the career sector, like how to be diplomatic with micromanagers or how to um, you know, really believe in your sense of value and walk away from toxic environments or people or situations that underestimate you. Because I feel in this reading, it's very unusual. I feel like you're learning life lessons as well as career opportunities. It's it's really odd. It's like you're being taught how to value your skill set and your talent a lot more and recognize that actually, you know, it's all about timing for you. Um, so we have golden moment. Okay. 
Um, I mean, with the star energy, I do see you standing out. So I do feel that you're going to be appreciated and recognized for your skill set and rewarded accordingly as well. It says a blessing is on its way. An important door is opening for you that will make you very, very happy. I did mention that with the Knight of Cups there. You're going to grab an opportunity with both hands and you're going to really enjoy it. It's following your bliss. It says rare, once in a lifetime and special. Okay, so a path is being made clear here for you and it's completely in alignment to something that you're wishing for. Also, we've got center stage. You know, that's you taking center stage because you deserve to be there, okay? Uh, it's about shining your light. It's about peacocking your skills. That's not you being egotistical and saying, look at what I can do. It's basically saying, I'm really confident in my skill set because I've learned a lot along the way. I have experience, I'm established, and I value me. So therefore, you should value me too, because, you know, sometimes we can have a little bit of lower confidence in our uh, skill set, you know, especially if you're going for a role and they require um, a certain skill set, you're like, okay, I've ticked all of those. I've got all of those skills apart from one, but I see that you are someone who is a quick learner. You're very independent and you can learn on the job. Don't fret that one thing that you may feel that you don't have on your resume because I feel like you've got this no matter what. Um, it says here, you're not meant to be on the sidelines. Let your wishes and dreams take center stage. I mean, that's perfect for the cards that you've got here. Attention, fame, and important. I mean, with the star energy, some of you definitely destined for fame here. So if fame is your goal, I definitely see that you've put in the hard work and you've worked a long time in the industry to get to where you want to go. Of course, your talent will shine, but also luck is required. And I feel luck is on your side to put you in the right position at the right time to meet the right opportunity. I feel like you're prepared. You know, that's half the battle to be prepared and then opportunity will meet you. And I feel that's where you're at right now. Um, we've also got options, full cup and emergence. So we have options, weighing up pros and cons, and I definitely see that you're in that mindset right now, working out what's best for you, weighing up those options. It says weighing up pros and cons, job change, move, offers coming in, justice, law, mediator, and balance. And of course, if anyone is being toxic in the working environment, I definitely see you, you know, enlisting a mediator of some sort. Uh, this could be like HR or a governing body, or if you're taking like, um, someone to court, for example, I see that they may try some underhanded tactics, but I feel like you'll get your desired outcome because you lead with integrity. And I feel like documenting everything is really important. Also, we've got full cup. Okay. Uh, now the full cup, of course, indicates you having everything you desire, seeking the Holy Grail, life's mission, greatest desire, thirst for more and feeling fulfilled. And I do see that you'll be really proud of yourself um, at the end of the month because I feel like you're going to get a lot done. Also, we've got Emergence. That's a great card, especially since you've got that star energy there. Um, it says coming into the light, soul work, awakening, spotlight, many interests and living gently. So with the many interests energy, I definitely see some of you are birthing new ideas. Some of you, they could be second streams of income. Maybe you're going to start small, but it's going to grow infinitely and become very successful there. But I definitely see that things are changing for you in a really positive way. And it's about time. Thank you so much for guys and angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? Now, interesting, and it is really interesting actually, and I'll tell you why. Um, we have the snail, first of all, okay? Now the snail is like slow and steady wins a race, small progress, you know, um, but also the shell on the snail's back indicates stability and security, especially in uncertain times, okay? So I definitely see that, um, you know, you are secure in your position, but also there's like a handcuff here. And normally this is, you know, part of a set. Um, you know, there's two handcuffs normally, but clearly somehow it's become released from the other one. And um, it actually says freedom on there. So I feel like you're not being tied down. You know, if you have a micromanager, then you're definitely going to feel released from that. But also I feel if you've been stuck or tied to something, I feel like you're moving away from it. Um, there's a sense of being more independent in the working environment. And um, 
If also you feel someone has been trying to abuse their power in a situation, you may see that the universe comes along and make sure that that person is no longer in your circumstances because I feel something really positive is shifting here for you, especially if you're dealing with someone who has been um, manipulating circumstances. So we'll leave it there. That's a lot for you, my beautiful Aquarians, but I hope something resonates in there for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel, completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aquarians, and love and light.